Good afternoon. My name is Mark Ellis. I am the operations chief for the Highlands County Fire Rescue Department. To my left here is Brian Newhouse, who's the emergency manager for Highlands County. We just wanted to take a moment to uh, bring everyone up to date, up to speed on the current conditions expected here in Highlands County because of Hurricane Ian. The forecast track for Ian has changed significantly since the day before yesterday. We've been talking about uh, Ian being a mostly a flooding event. We weren't so concerned about the wind and we were pushing out the message about being mostly concerned about flooding. That has changed. The track of the storm has really shifted to the east and brought Hurricane Ian much closer as far as the center of the storm toward Highlands County. So our message today is that we want the residents and the business owners to take this storm seriously. The last uh, update that we were looking at just a few minutes ago was showing that the secondary ring around the center part of the storm, which is those winds that are 85 miles per hour, are going to be passing right through uh, the upper two thirds of Highlands County. So basically from Lake Placid North are going to be in that, that whole uh, center section that can expect nothing short of 85 mile an hour winds. Now, the other fear that I have is that the storm continues to track to the east a little more than what it's doing, which will actually put us into the center section of this hurricane, which are going to be your full force of what could be category three or stronger winds in Highlands County. So this is a very serious storm, one that you should be taking very seriously yourself. If your preparations have not already happened, you need to get them done today. We can expect the effects of this storm starting as early as tomorrow morning. You will definitely be feeling them by tomorrow afternoon into the evening time when we're expecting tropical storm force winds to be entering the county and then gradually worsening overnight into Thursday. So again, the message here is you have to take this storm seriously. If you're in a low-lying area, you need to consider evacuating from Highlands County. If you're in a mobile home or in a living in a structure that's not attached to a foundation, you need to consider evacuation. Shelters are being opened up today. The special needs shelter opens up at two o'clock today. The general population shelter in Sebring will open up at four o'clock today. As we start to get people coming in, and the need arises to open up additional shelters, we will do that. The next shelter to open up will be in Lake Placid, and then we'll open up another shelter further north, probably into the Avon Park area. And we will list those shelters and their openings as we open them throughout the course of the day. But again, the message is you need to take this storm seriously. You should be well underway, if not finished with preparations for the storm, because you can expect to get hurricane force winds in Highlands County by this time tomorrow. So please take this storm seriously. This is a dangerous situation. As Chief said, please take it seriously. Follow the directions of your local government and evacuate, please. 